Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this XSplit Broadcaster video, I'm going to be showing you how we can set up the speakers and microphone inside of XSplit Broadcaster to make sure we're getting the right audio input while we are broadcasting. So, to get things started, go up to the Tools menu, look for General Settings, and then the Audio tab should be the second one in there. And here you'll see System Sound, which is referring to your speakers or the device that your computer outputs the audio to normally, usually that means where the speakers that your game audio is going to output to. So we want to record that same audio here. We can leave it set as default speakers, but if you have to choose a uh, basically a speaker set that's different than your uh, computer defaults, then you would choose that from the drop down here. So for instance, instead of choosing default speakers, I could go ahead and select real high tech, uh, real tech high definition audio. Now, for microphone, um, that may be something you more likely need to customize. And if you want to select a specific microphone from your computer, click on the drop down menu and go down here. For instance, we could select the USB advanced audio device that's referring to my Blue Yeti microphone, rather than the real tech high definition audio, which is my webcam um, audio, which is far less good. So you'd probably want to always record with my Blue Yeti microphone. So we can just set that here. One more thing to note is the silence detection. How silence detection works is that if you stop talking and the audio that's inputting to your microphone doesn't reach a certain threshold or a level for a period equal to or longer than the silence period, then it's going to cut off input from that microphone. And this can be a useful tool for reducing the amount of background noise that goes out to your stream. If you're recording with a mic that has a lot of background noise, um, and you don't talk for a while, it'll become much more noticeable. So that's why the silence detection is there, so that when you're not talking, no bad audio is going through either. Okay, uh, you can of course set up delays, which is how long it's going to take the audio that goes to your speakers or the audio that goes to your microphone uh, to actually show up in the video. Uh, probably not many people are going to need to use that. So that's the basics for setting up your microphone and your speakers within XSplit Broadcaster. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in my future content.